Okay, thank you. You can return to your seat. Tell me what happened when that call came in. What after the everybody started hollering and crying and what did Chris do? And he got out of the car. And where was where was that at? At the red light. Did you help him get out of the car? I can't remember. Um, I told him to get out of the car because I was afraid that guns were going to be put on the car and my grandbaby was in there. Okay, and why would you tell him to get, why would you think that there were going to be guns put on the car? I didn't know who or who was responsible for, for what had happened. You know, just thinking that he, you know, somebody who might have done something wrong that, you know, one of them maybe had done something wrong and the guns were going to be drawn. I just was thinking about my grandbaby. I didn't want my grandbaby to be in the middle of that. So your first thought when you learned that the baby died was that either your daughter or Chris killed their baby? No, not that they, just that, that everybody might have thought that they did. Well, didn't Chris tell you that? Didn't he say something to that effect? He said that they were going to think that if they found it anywhere near his, the, their home, that they were going to think that they had something to do, to do with it. You, that night after Chris jumped out of the car, you went to um, the sheriff's office and were interviewed, is that correct? Do you remember this yes. man right here interviewing you, Jeff Alexander? Yes. And do you remember giving a, a statement to him? Yes. And that statement was recorded, did you know that? Yes. And you actually had an opportunity for me to play that statement for you um, in preparation for this trial, is that correct? Yes. Um, and when you listened to that statement, as I pointed out to you on the day that I played it for you, you never told the investigators that night that you told him to get out of the car because you were concerned for your grandchildren. Yeah, I just, I don't know why I didn't tell him that. In fact, you stated, quote, Courtney, and they said they found the baby and started telling more details or whatever, and he said, they're gonna think it's me. They're gonna think it's me and jumped out of the car. Is that correct? Yeah, he did say that, and he jumped out of the car, but I told him to get out of the car also. Were you trying to protect him then? Because you knew that he had no, done No, I was just worried about my grandbaby. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to be ugly, Pam. I'm really not, but with all due respect, you weren't even involved in your grandchildren's lives. I mean, you weren't involved in Kalia's life or Clarissa's life, were you? No. So, do you want the jury to believe that this grandchild was more special to you or you were somehow involved and you didn't even raise your own daughter? Just because I wasn't involved doesn't mean I still don't love them. <laughs> Did you have any reason to be concerned about the police stopping y'all? No, not at that time, because I don't think they knew what vehicle we were in or anything. Well, then how were they going to pull guns on you? We were going to pull up to where everything was going on. Did you not think that your son, -in, or I guess it's your son-in-law and your nephew, let's see, it's your nephew and your daughter's boyfriend, but did you not think that it would be important when the baby was found for him to go there to where his child was found? Yeah, but to go there by himself, not, with, he didn't have to arrive with us. Why? I didn't want my grandbaby in the middle of that. I just didn't know what was going to happen. Well, I mean, the only reason, the only way that makes any sense is that you assumed that Chris killed your grandma. No, I didn't assume that. Well, then I why just, would you be concerned? Every, all thoughts went through my head. I didn't know that if he may or may not have, you know, I didn't know either way, but I didn't want to take any chance. And you understand that what you said that night when you went to the police department um, was just, what, hours after this happened? Would there be a reason why you would have lied to the police on that night? I just wasn't thinking about me saying get out of the car. Well, I mean, that's a pretty important thing, right? Like, you know that for hours, not only are the police, the sheriff's deputies, swarming all over that part of the county, but all the citizens are out looking for Chris McNabb. 
You, you know that, right? You knew there was like an hour-long manhunt for Chris McNabb. You know that? After the baby was found. Right, after he jumped out of the car. And you're not going to tell Investigator Alexander that you're the reason he jumped out of the car, that you told him to? He didn't have to jump out of the car. Listen to her question. Listen to her question. Ask your question. With all that was going on to locate him, why would you, how could it slip your mind, as you said? I guess it just slipped my mind. I forgot to tell him that I'm the one who told Chris to get out of the car. I don't know how. Well, you told the police something very different. It's not that it just slipped your mind. You told the police that he jumped out of the car because he was afraid that they were going to think he did it. I didn't say he was afraid. I just said that he said that they're going to think. Well, what is a person who runs? Are they not the person who's afraid? Well, he was running in the direction to where they found the baby. He wasn't running away from it. He was running through the woods. Yeah. But it was towards the park where they lived. It wasn't the other direction. But he was running through the woods. He didn't have anywhere else to go. I he didn't go inside the Chevron station or the Marathon station and say, hey, deputy, come pick me up. I'd take me to where my baby was found, did he? No, I don't guess so. He didn't use that cell phone that he had in his hand and call the police and say, come pick me up. I didn't do this. I want to clear my name take me to where my child is, is laying. He didn't accompany the woman who just gave Your birth to his child, did he? Any questions that she has her own direct. Overruled, go ahead and ask your question. He didn't, he, he jumps out of the car leaving the mother of the child that, he, that just gave birth to his child two weeks ago to go by herself over there to where the baby is found? Yes. Are you saying he was a coward or are you saying he's afraid? What I'm not it? saying either. Then why did he I jump out of the car? I have no idea. Did y'all have drugs in the car that night? No. Did y'all smoke drugs together that day? Smoked the blunt before we left. Thank you. Those are all the questions that I have. Carter. So I have a few questions for you. Um, just to go back over, this is October 8th, uh, the day after Kalia went missing and the day that she was found. Is that correct? Uh, and you, Courtney, Lauren, Chris, and Jeremiah were in Lauren's car. Correct. Uh, Lauren, Lauren driving. I think we've been through, um, been through where everybody was. Um, and Courtney received a call on her phone. Is that correct? Correct. And you said somebody told her that the baby had been found and they gave her some other details. Now, was it apparent at that time that the child was dead? Yes. Okay. And at that point, um, you said uh, Chris became worried that they were going to blame him. That's what Ms. Zahn said that you said, right? Uh, you also told Investigator Alexander that Chris didn't just say they're going to blame me. They, he said they're going to blame us, and him and Courtney. Is that correct? Right. And he asked you to clarify that several times, and you said no. He said they're going to blame us. Right? Right. Okay. And then uh, you say that you told him just get out of the car. You told him just to get out of the car. Is that right? Now, the only thing that you didn't tell Investigator Alexander that night, only thing that you missed out of what I just said was the fact that you told him to get out of the car. Is that correct? Correct. Now, Ms. Mackey's car, this, this model of car, actually has um, child protective doors on the back, does it not? So you had to get out I of the car. I think I did. You had to get out of the car and open the door for Chris because he wasn't able to open his door. Do you recall I that? Think, I, think, I think I did. Okay. Other than forgetting to tell Investigator Alexander that you told him to get out of the car and that you open, had to get out to open the door for him, is there anything else that's um, different from your statement that you gave to Jeff Alexander that night and the, what you're telling this jury today? No, sir. Okay. Do you have any doubt about the things that you're telling us here today? No. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Frost. Thank you. Ms. Hamby. You don't have a particularly good relationship with your daughter, do you? It's not bad. 
In fact, you've got, what, seven kids? Yes. How many different fathers are there? Five. And you only raised out of those two of those, correct? The others were all raised by their father. Did now, you yes. But you, well, you're actually closer to Chris, aren't you? No. Didn't you all have a secret Facebook account so that you could go behind my client's back? He had secret Facebook accounts from to keep from Courtney to talk to people, but, but it wasn't just me and him. But y'all got together on certain occasions and no. had little... Absolutely not. Y'all never had any... No. <laughs> And you weren't doing drugs that night? I smoked a blunt. And you're not protecting Chris today, are you? No. Ms. Zahn? Pam, do you remember saying um, that Chris said, if they found it, I'll let you read that last line here, where it says, and he said, and read it in the microphone, what you told the police. And he said that if they found it anywhere near the house, they were going to blame us. And the it that he was referring to was his 14-day-old baby. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. That's all that I have to ask. Mr. Frost, Nothing. you may step down.